RuPaul. <laughs> okay. Uh, right. Very tall. Lots of high, uh, high heels to to stomp people, to stomp the zombies with. Yeah. Nice. There you go. I like the strategy. It's a good answer, so I'm gonna <laughs> let you survive for a little bit longer. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> that was bad. I go to comfort food. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Probably cookies, like a warm, fresh out of the oven chocolate chip cookie with oatmeal. Like, it's my favorite. That does sound good. Yeah. <laughs> nice cold glass of milk. Oh, so I've taught in Pakistan. Okay. I am from Pakistan, basically. And I've been teaching uh, physics and maths in the Cambridge system there. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I've written, recently moved to the US. I am absolutely the kind of person yes! to need a car. <laughs> so my car has two names, two first names, and then one nickname. Okay, got it. <laughs> um, my car's name is Arietti Carlisle after the secret world of Arietti. Okay. And then my friends, freshman year of college, were obsessed with Twilight. So I named the car Carlisle with a little pun there because <laughs> they could not stop talking about that man and it really frustrated me. So every time they started talking about Carlisle, I started talking about my car, it became a thing. But the nickname is Ace. Maybe to sew with love? Okay. It's a cool movie. Yeah. It's so emotional, the teacher, you know, he worked hard to become a teacher and then he faces a lot of challenges with the students and school. But he was a dedicated teacher, you know, he, he dedicated his life and he got a new job, but he quit the job just because of his students. He changed the life mm -hmm. of students. If we're talking U.S. history, I feel like I would want to bring George Washington with me. He's going to be very honest, very dependable. He has a lot of experience organizing people, and he knows when to stop. <laughs> he knew when he wanted to retire. He knew when he was like, I'm going to throw in the towel. Everything's been set up, and then immediately, like, parties started. Maybe like Florence Nightingale, right? Ooh, she was okay. like the first nurse. So I figure, you know, she could really help me like patch some people up and maybe help me develop like a medicine, you know, a, yeah. what is, what's the word for an antidote. There we go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Florence Nightingale. Yes. You're like combine nurse power. And yeah. Just gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think that would fix all the problems. That is a story for me to start with a particular debate teacher who I told point blank I will never become a teacher. There is too much that teachers have to deal with. And she sat me down and went, okay, tell me why. Explain <laughs> to me your reasoning and gave me a project to work on. And the more and more I worked on why I didn't want to be a teacher, the more and more I realized that those were reasons that I wanted to become a teacher and actually be able to make some changes on those things or to be like an influence in students' lives and really teach content that I'm very passionate about. Uh, so I've been a nurse um, for goodness gracious a lot of years, 19 years. Okay. Um, and so fresh out of nursing school, I went um, into labor and delivery. So my background is women's health. Um, so I was a labor and delivery nurse and then I transitioned into postpartum nursing, newborn nursing. Um, I became a specialist in lactation, so it's called an internationally board certified lactation consultant. It's a lot of words. <laughs> it's a okay. lot of words, but super fun, and it just meant that I helped new moms learn how to breastfeed their babies so that their babies were getting the appropriate nutrition. Okay, so before I came here, I was in college. Okay. So I graduated with my bachelor's in politics Ooh. this past May. And this summer, I spent looking for jobs and being a barista. So, Ooh, okay. if you come in to start... Yes, a Ooh. cat named Fred. Aww. It's named for Mr. Rogers. What color is he? Brown, striped, tiger striped. Um, at the moment, no. No? no. Okay. No. Sounds like you've had pets, though. Yeah, I've had pets. I've had a Siamese, and I've had a turtle. I've had budgies and lovebirds and pigeons. 
<laughs> yeah, more of a bird person. And I've also nice. got chickens at one point. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but at the moment, um, none yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're probably looking at, you know, getting a dog sometime soon. That's a, that's a good question. So I've actually been in Cop LASD for nine, I'm starting my ninth year. And so I've been in elementary schools before. And um, I just felt like it was time for me to kind of grow as a nurse, get a little bit more experience in older kids, in the adolescents. And um, I have um, kids that go here. And so I was familiar with the concept and how things work and the type of uh, learners that are here and I just thought that sounds like a really cool place I want to check it out singer oh, really? uh, uh, choir singer so I uh, have a choir in Dallas uh, that I sing uh, very comfortable and play a little bit of piano and a little bit of organ oh yeah I yeah. do a lot of cooking okay I do Indian cooking, I do some Mexican sometimes, and Italian, American, and I listen to music. I like classical more. Okay. Of course country too, but classical more. Mm. Then I do some gardening. Uh, because gardening is my passion. I grow vegetables, <laughs> I grow fruits. That's awesome. Yeah. And I like to travel too. Yeah? Yep. Where have you been? I've been to India at least. Um, I mean, every alternate year I go to India. And when I go to India, I travel a lot. I don't stay in yeah. one place. I see my family, then I keep moving different cities. I do a lot of gardening, okay. even though I'm having a very tough time in Texas as well, <laughs> especially during the summers. But I do a lot of gardening and um, I go kayaking uh, mm -hmm. on the weekends in the Grapevine Lake and I love the trails so um, me and my husband we go cycling on the trails as well on the weekends yeah I love to watch reality TV <laughs> <laughs> okay like, cheesier the better I just love you know I don't like drama in real life you know like I don't want to see fights and you know mean people in real life but for some reason I love to watch it on TV and just like see how crazy people can really and truly be Okay. Absolutely. Yay. Am I also very nervous? Yes. Okay. But it's the nervousness of the excitement because I know there's so many wonderful opportunities here and so many wonderful students here and the administration is amazing that I want to really like breathe it all in and be a part of it. Fair. So absolutely excited. Yeah. This right. is a wonderful place you have. Most excited to kind of just see firsthand all of the wonderful work that New Tech does, you know? Yeah. Like as a parent, I kind of hear about it, but because I was always at work or whatever, I didn't get to really see like the Olympics and you know, things that you guys do that are unique to this campus. I get a front row seat now. <laughs> so yeah. I'm, I'm super stoked about that. Uh, I like the freedom. I like the uh, respect that we give students. So, uh, uh, that they have something to contribute to their own. I'm really excited to see what uh, what my students do that surprises me, that steps outside of the curriculum. Ah, no, New York is a good school, you know. I was, uh, I mean, this is a school that first approached me, then I said yes, even without mm -hmm. knowing what it is. When I came here, I thought this is the right school for me. I fit in well in this school because I like um, the project-based learning. Yeah. And project base is really good for biology. I was like so passionate doing um, projects and labs, and I do a lot of lengthy labs. Then I thought, why not I do project based? So and that really helped me. And not only that, even the staff. The best thing I can say is the support of the staff here. And students are organized, yeah, well behaved, respectful. So everything worked for me. I, I don't know how I chose this school. Yeah. And if I had a choice, like I knew maybe I would make a wrong choice probably, but even without knowing, I made the right choice. That's I'm awesome. happy and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Good. Well, thank you so much for playing with me. Yeah. It's a whole new concept. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, I like that. Um, and it's kind of challenging as well because it's like different from, you know, the theoretical teaching that we're used to doing. Yeah. So I w I'm actually interested in how it would go.